for you guys to check out here, as well as free food and happy hour. Come on, let's check it out. Hey everybody, thanks for joining us. I'm standing in front of the Horizon 42Q. This was introduced last year, but it's still a vehicle that every time you see it, it turns heads everywhere. It's fantastic. I have Ryan with me, product manager. Ryan, let's get into the vehicle here a little bit, and what would you like to share first about yeah, it? Yeah, well, first I'd like to start off is, is just talk a little bit about the Horizon itself. Is What we are looking at is a 42Q. Um, this is a bath and a half floor plan. But talking a little bit about some of the, 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 the benefit, features and benefits on the outside, this is built on a Freightliner XCL chassis um, with the Maxim Foundation. This is kind of a works between Winnebago Industries and Freightliner to come up with a proprietary foundation um, and set up underneath for, for this coach. What that's going to give you as, as the owner is, is you're going to maximize your storage, which we'll look at here in a little bit. Um, but also... Based on the, the design of this chassis, we're giving a lower center of gravity, so it's giving you a lot better ride and handling when you're, when you're going down the, the, the coach. Very important at a vehicle this size. Yeah, yeah. I mean, when people upgrade to a diesel pusher, they're always looking for a better ride and handling um, and making it easier when they're taking their coaches down the road for, you know, four or 500 miles. They don't want to be stressed when they get there. A coach like this will, will definitely make their, their travels a lot easier. So I want to remind everybody to set, start sending in some questions. Yeah. While we have Ryan here, now is the best opportunity to get these questions answered right away for you. As long as they're not too technical. He can handle it all. <laughs> he'll be, we got help on the back he'll side. He'll be okay. Too, so. Definitely give us likes. Yeah. But before you go over there, Ryan, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, sorry. Tell me about the turning radius oh, with yeah. the wheel, the cut, great, cut percentage and great, all that. Great point. So on this, on this particular coach, on the 42-footer, we have a, the independent front suspension. Um, so with that, you're going to have a 60-degree wheel cut. So a lot of people get kind of intimidated when they're driving or looking at a coach this size. Yeah. But actually, a coach like this with the independent front suspension has, with the 60 degrees, has a better uh, ability to turn around a tighter circle than a lot of gas coaches that are shorter than this. Um, Which get, gets you in and out of gas stations. Yeah, it gets you, you just, in and out of your campgrounds yeah, a little less easier. Chance, all that. The less you're backing up, the less chance you're bumping into something. Okay. So this will, this will help that immensely. And the other side of it is being independent front suspension. It, again, improves that ride and handling um, when nice. you're going down the road. So. Okay. So going, kind of continuing on with uh, talking about the chassis and, and the idea what we've got with the, uh, the XCL um, chassis from Freightliner and the Maxim Foundation is you, you, you maximize your storage. And not only do you, you get a lot of storage. <laughs> a lot of yeah, storage. <laughs> but it's, it, it allows us to design the, the main storage compartment. Um, as wide as we can, so you have these, you know, very large uh, uh, pull-out trays, um, and this tray goes out either side, and it has a capacity of 800 pounds. But not only do Eight, you have 800 pounds, 800 pounds wow. yeah. So not only is it um, the fact that you have this big wide tray, but it's also at a really good height. If you're putting objects in here, you're oh, not, yeah. you know, you're, you're kind of right where you're, you're standing. Not. Yeah, you're not getting clear down on the ground like you'd see in a lot of our competitors, where the tray's a lot lower. So ergonomically, it's just a better better setup and in, in operation. And I could throw a mattress in here, and this could be my sleeping area. Yeah, this would be great. Nope, nobody would even know I was under there. Right. <laughs> the other one we have. Um, I'm gonna get on my phone here. Um, oh, this still works. So give us likes, give us shares, all that. Get you know, help us get the word out. This is a beautiful coach. It is the Horizon 42Q. It has more storage done down underneath here. Yeah. You yeah, and those storage totes come with every one of the uh, uh, the coaches. Um, what I was getting up or setting up here is this actually has the undercarriage lighting feature or option on it. Um, well, while you're getting that, though, also talk about that the cargo bay area is a separate climate control. Keep, oh, yeah. Keeping everything. Yeah, perfect. So what this is equipped with is the Aquahot heating system. It's the 400 diesel version that comes from Aquahot. The great part about it is it's zoned, so you've got... You got three zones. You got one in your living, one in your bed or back uh, bathroom and bedroom area, and then you have a third zone in the basement. Um, you know, in actuality, you can turn this up to get the basement about 60 degrees if you wanted to. Um, you probably wouldn't. It would be too practical. Wouldn't you'd need use that. Of, well, yeah, you're, right. you're well unless if I'm fuel. sleeping under there with yeah, the mattress, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like yeah. it a little, little yeah. warm. If Mama kicks you out and yeah. puts you downstairs, <laughs> <laughs> you stay warm. But yeah, what I was getting set up here is this does have an option for undercarriage lighting. Oh, okay. um, 
very easy to switch inside and then you just sync it with the app but you basically have the ability to um, change this to whatever you want. You can like, have it dance to music. You can set it for seasons. It's like party you mode. Know, blue and green. You can set the speed and slow it way down. Um, and so it just it kind of gives it a, a fun um, atmosphere on the outside of the coach. And as we started going to a lot of rallies, we started noticing most people have some type <laughs> of, of rope lighting around their coaches. So this gave it uh, the full uh, RGB setup, and you have full flexibility. I so always, it's kind of cool. I always lay out rope lighting yeah. on our because we don't have and, this. And, and, that's, and, and that's the other thing, too. And this, really nice. On this coach, we put that all the way around the motorhome. That's nice. Some of our competitors that offer this. Just I, I like it, it for what you said, side. too, seasonal. So you could do oh, like yeah. a red-green for Christmas and yeah, right you know, maybe an orange for, for there you go. fall. Holly. There you go. And then you know, and they speed that up a little bit if you want to see the greens and the reds a little bit more. So it's decorations that you don't even have to store. It's, right. It's, it's there for you whenever you want to exactly. use it. Exactly. Exactly. Very nice. So that's yeah, kind of some of the features out here. We can head inside if you want. Sure. Kind of sure. Looking at the... The dash come, on, area. come on inside. Yeah. Keep these questions coming. I see we got a lot of people starting to join us. Do we have any questions yet that we need to? I don't think so. Okay. <laughs> so inside, let's take a look at this front. Right away, I noticed this large 10-inch screen. Yeah. And you have a secondary screen for the passenger. Exactly. Now, and uh, I'm going to turn this on real quick sure. so you can see. Um. So, so now, yeah, what you're what you're talking about here is we have a 10 inch screen here and a six inch screen over there. Um, our old version of this, we actually stacked these screens because both there. This was the main unit, the 10 inch screen, and then the six inch was just a passive screen, meaning okay. another source for the main the main unit. Um, we've changed that now, so this unit is active, that unit is active. So when I'm driving down the road, um, or my wife's driving the vehicle down the road. She can be looking, or I can be looking at the GPS and the radio on this side. And if I'm sitting over there, I can change that and look at cameras if I'd like. So they're not just mirroring each other. No, they're no, they're not mirroring each other at all. At, at all. It just gives full functionality Function, for both yeah. screens for what this system offers. Um, the other neat thing that we've started offering, and it's on all of our. This is um, one of my favorites right here. I love this dash. All of our diesel pushers. We we've switched over to the. Uh, um, the uh, OptiView dash, that digital dash, and I just hit the turn signal to flip that on and yeah, off. Yeah, but it's so sharp. But this is actually technology that comes from Mercedes um, S-Class vehicles, and uh, Freightliner has, has had the opportunity to leverage that. We've actually taken the, the step to put this across all diesel pushers in, in, uh, in the Winnebago lineup. So. And some of the information on that dash that I was impressed with is now you have tire pressure monitoring system yes. on, on these tires that are going right to your dash. You don't need a another little display that you add on later on or anything like that yeah and i was going to try oh here it is so look, you at wanna look at here just real quick the nice thing about this is is that um i can go on and it's it looks like it's trying to get the information from mm -hmm. the but it'll actually tell the the pressure of the tires and the temperature of the tires um you also have the ability to set up tow car vehicles too and it's just adding sensors aftermarket that you okay. purchase, but it's real easy to do. And it can just tie right into that. You're oh not, yeah, you're not picking up a secondary you screen, basically, nothing no, like that. No, you just select the tire that you're putting the sensor on. It takes about thirty seconds. It and it's it's being monitored all the time. You don't yeah. have to have the screen on no, for it to monitor. No, so basically, if something were to come up, you're going to get a warning. You know that thing's like that. You're yeah. going to have a warning that says tire pressure. And, and the tires gonna, this size, yeah, this is important. Very, very, <laughs> very, very important. important. So. Uh, very, very intuitive system, and, and like I said, it's only going to show you when you have a warning. Okay. So, all right. Um, you want? It's kind of in the cab area. Um, one other thing I do want to stress and talk about with uh, with our coaches or diesel pushers is that we do offer a three or hundred thousand mile warranty. Nice. Best in the industry for diesel pushers. Nice. Um, that's whether it's a, a Forza or a Horizon product, um, and uh, uh, it's something we started uh, offering about a year and a half ago, and it's basically to tell our, our owners and our customers we're here to back our products. Yeah. So, so that's that's a long time, worry free. Yeah. yeah that yeah. that you're you're covered. That's sure. awesome. And for now, sure. of course, when you look in the horizon, yeah, when you, my, my favorite time. You know, I've been here for two days now. I like sitting over here and watching everybody's jaw just drop yep. as they walk in here, and it's just amazing just to watch their expressions because this is like nothing else. Oh. It, I mean, it's just modern. It's sleek. It's clean lines going back. It's already a large coach, but with these lines, it makes it even larger. And it's, I mean, yep. this is just nice. Yeah, because nice. it is so clean and straight line, but you don't have a lot of the jogginess that you'd see in a traditional motor, motor home. Um, so it is very clean, sophisticated, and that was part of the big intent of, of the design. It's one thing to put 
a different type of cabinet, but to actually go through the whole package of this motorhome and, and hit every single detail, that was the goal. Um, yeah. And hopefully uh, uh, everybody's loving it. So well, like I said, we talked earlier, is we're in the 42Q floor plan. What I love about this floor plan is that when you look at it, you actually, it's hard to separate a floor plan, I mean, or a motor home and then, yeah, into all, different parts of it because it's just, you know, 400 square foot. You, yeah. You can't really do much with it. But this this sofa that we have, um, this is a, a, a sectional sofa that Winnebago Industries designed um, and came out and kind of uh, revolutionized the industry back around 2010. Um, it has our built-in rest as you sofa. So both of those sections here are electric. You have controls for that. Um, on the side <laughs> look at that and then you have another control for this one here in the back um, This does have pull out ottomans um, as well But it, it makes this this coach very usable and in, in, in a real uh, uh, a Setting to where you can sit down with multiple people have conversations or, or if you look at where the TV is It's set up perfectly for viewing. I love this fireplace. Is the fireplace functional or is yes. it just for looks? Yeah, well right now we have it we have it just set for <laughs> just for, for looks, looks because it's not real, you know. Right, we, we don't, don't we don't need, need it any it, warmer no. in here. We're sweating as it is. There's so. definitely not a need for it, but yeah, it, it is a it, it will provide heat. Okay. Um, and uh, the nice thing is, I you know, I hear from people all the time that they thought when they got this it was going to be worthless, but as they get into climates where they just have a chill in the air in the morning, yeah. they turn that on. That's all. That's all they That's use. That's great. So. So hopefully you guys are sending us some <coughs> questions. I I know Ryan is eager to answer questions yes. he loves questions i've Love been asking questions. him questions all day long yeah. and he can't seem to get enough but yeah so you're right ryan so now you have your true living area now you're in a kitchen area which is something that you don't typically see usually so i always say you know in my living space but yeah. i have to put it under quotes because i got my sofa. well i don't have even i don't even have a sofa in my <laughs> but so i have my dinette my kitchen everything is all in one one spot so so take us into the kitchen i'm going to see if we have some questions yeah so in the galley area here is kind of a unique thing we have is we have kind of a built-in drying rack right in the uh, countertop um, so that way you're setting you know wet dishes um, that you just clean the water will run right back down in the or into the sink um, we have back here is actually a little hatch or a hole that you can pull up and there's a garbage can like so it that. actually stores the garbage outside it's easily accessible from your tv exterior tv oh. um, entertainment center so again it's keeping kind of the the, the stink and smell. Power outlet, does that drop in and yep. out? Is that yep. so get got, out of the way? Okay. A little uh, pulls up and down. You got a USB and then two uh, 110 outlets. Hey, that's nice. Way kind of flat and uh, sleek. Um, we do have a, a large uh, farm style uh, a sink that's uh, a single bowl, but very, very large, that's deep very sink. sharp. Um, and it's very large. Yeah. yeah. Very large. And we have storage underneath here, too, as well. So trying to utilize as much. Um, or, or make usable countertop space as well as uh, uh, using that area for storage. I thought that was very classy, too. I, I, it reminds me of, like, a grand piano. Yeah. I don't yeah, know if like, anybody has ever said that to it you. It does kind of look like that for sure, yeah. <laughs> I really liked um, it. Part of the, the styling, you know, like I said, we were talking about the clean line. So a typical motor home, a typical oh. <laughs> motor home, this is just sitting out in space and just kind of, you know, makes it look more like a motor home. So we try to enclose that. Keep it all nice and clean. Same thing with, uh, I'm going to keep bumping that. Um, we have a built-in dishwasher here, drawer style. Very large dishwasher at that. Mm -hmm. Not um, expecting that. So it's a finished off with the same type of styling of, of the cabinets as well. Sure. So if you guys have questions, now is definitely the time to ask them. We will be right after here. Don't go anywhere. We're going to be running literally yeah. from here outside. We have a Forza parked out there, and we're going to be showing you the Forza too. So don't go anywhere. Keep questions coming. Give us likes. Give us love. Um, I wanted to point out too, I know, yeah, that, you know that you yeah. open that up for me, please. <laughs> That this was really nice. You kind of just yeah. passed right through that, but that's pretty sharp yeah. idea that they slide in the back there. That way and, it still uh, makes it a reusable space. Yeah, I like that. It's not in your way. I like that. I like simple ideas that work really well. The other thing to point out is this is to have an induction cooktop, and then this coach is a, a all electric coach. Um, you have a residential refrigerator. Yeah, you have a twenty eight hundred okay. watt in a, a twenty eight hundred watt inverter. Um, How many six, house batteries? Six Sorry. AGM batteries. Um, it does have LP on board, but it's a it's just a twenty pound tank that's plumbed across underneath to go to a portable hookup on the outside. So you're you're leaving that propane off all the time. You're yeah. only using it when you're parked. If you right, want to cook you, outdoes, right? If you don't want it all, you can then take you don't the tank out and toss leave it, it at do home whatever you want to do with it. With okay. It. So you have your half bath in here. 
Um, pretty good size for a half bath. Uh, electric flush toilet, electric I believe, flush, in, the, in the half as well, Half right? as well, yeah. On, on all horizons, we put electric uh, flush toilets, whether there's one or two okay. in the coach. So, um, great storage. You have a nice big pantry uh, with pull-out. I love these pull-out pull uh, uh, Would love to see this. drawers. Yeah, I want to see it everywhere. <laughs> access to all that back there. Um, large uh, wardrobe um, with storage drawers. One thing I didn't mention is that all the drawers are uh, soft closed drawers, oh, look at that. Um, as well as the uh, um, overheads, which I didn't bring up and I want to point out, is we did switch. Early on, we had some um, functionality with these, but we have changed to a, a European-style hinge. It's a Blum that hinge. That is a huge hinge. It is. That is powerful. Um, they're, they're very <laughs> robust. The yeah. nice thing is, is that they can hold up about any weight door that we have, and we have some really big doors up in the front overhead. Okay. Um, so these can be set, um, and they're very good for adjustability, but just a real high-end uh, uh, contemporary. Three engine. AC units, so you're, you're, you're cool, keeping cool throughout the whole coach, even in something this size. Right, right. Three AC units, 13 fives, and you have a ceiling, ceiling fan, fan as well. Um, good size TV with a sound 40 bar. 40-inch TV in the bedroom. We do have uh, the Intimax uh, sleep system, so in individual air, air, air mattresses for... His and hers uh, desire on how, how how firm or soft they want the bed, okay. and it is an articulating bed, so you can sit up in the bed, read uh, read books, watch TV, or you know maybe sleep in a in a little bit of an incline nice. as well. Very nice. We do have store or storage in, uh, next to the bed uh, on each side, and we have uh, uh, one ten and USB charging. It's hard to see it, but there's USB charging down in each one of those outlets nice. on both sides. Wrapping up. <clears throat> All right. The uh, Ba the bathroom area, real quick, like we mentioned, it does have a power the power flush toilet. And we do have standard washer and dryer, again with Stackable. with the uh, the doors that will slide back in again to make it easier to use. But they are stackable. Very and nice. One la two more things, and then we got to wrap it up. But uh, again, because it's kind of unique on this, is we do have very uh, deep uh, uh, medicine cabinets that can also be used as, as doubled as linen storage, and then they all have pull out. Um, drawers on both sides, top and bottom, and then in this large storage compartment here oh, as well, nice. we brought out the very uh, the storage or the shelves that can slide in and out to make it easier to access and use that storage. Large shower with a lot of light. Large shower, and then I got to uh, I got to throw one thing out to my buddy Niles. I don't know if he's watching right now, but he did the intent yesterday, and he was talking about how big the shower is. And he's going to want to kill me for saying this, but I just want to say I make the shower look even bigger than he does. <laughs> so and with that, I'm going to wrap it up. All right. <laughs> Let's Kenny take it. So thanks, everybody, for joining us here. We want to remind you that we are heading over to the Forza, so don't go anywhere. If you would like more information on this Horizon 42Q, check out winnebagoind.com for our specs and all of your information there. We want to thank you for joining, hoping you're sharing. And, you know, you can send send a questions even after all this and we'll get to those questions but thanks everybody appreciate it we're very much known as a traditional very conservative company it would be very easy to develop three or four different series of motorhomes and have them basically look exactly the same on the interior and just put different features with that but I firmly believe every product that we come up with has to have a story and there has to be an identity for that product Hi, I'm Ryan Roski, and this year I'm introducing the new Winnebago Horizon. The Horizon's identity to me would be sleek, sophisticated, functional, fresh, new, contemporary design. Some would say European styling, but when you walk in it, it's going to be very inviting. It's going to be very clean, um, open, vibrant colors. Everybody wants to differentiate their product, um, but if you look at the industry as a whole, then and now, it, it, it's really a, it's a, it's a sea of sameness. It's really something we're trying to get out of. So we started talking with dealers, we started talking with customers, and so we started creating mock-ups of, of interiors of what, what, we, what you see here, and we started showing them to key dealers, we started showing them to some of our WIT owners, which is our Winnebago Itasca Travelers, um, and we got very positive feedback. At the end of the day, as we were really trying to change the interiors of the coaches and give something that nobody else is providing today, and something that when they walk into it, they're gonna know that this is a Winnebago Industries product. It's 
very contemporary design. It's very sleek. Um, going through the mock-up stages and trying to build these and making sure all the cabinet doors line up. There's a lot of things that have to hit perfectly and then also be able to design that so it's manufacturable. We, we got creative on how we could use storage in this, but then by using that storage we wanted to also make it look really nice and make it functional at the same time. Like on the countertop, we actually engraved uh, grooves in the, in the countertop so it's a built-in drying rack for your dishes. Typically a TV will be back here on a wall and you sit on the couch here and you're looking sideways. But where's the best place to put the TV? It's straight across, so it's got a pop-up TV on the passenger side. You have two sinks in the bathroom, the shower is, is very large. For a 40-foot floor plan, it's set up very well that way. The big features on the coach that at this price point that people are going to expect is the horsepower. And this is built on our Maxim chassis. So it's got tons of exterior storage, pass-through storage, but also it comes with the Cummins ISL 400 horsepower up to a 450 horsepower engine, as well as independent front suspension on the tag axle offerings. His predecessor did not have those features, and so we were trying to up the game. Aquahot heating system is another big one. So this is an all-electric coach, has induction cooktop, and uh, a diesel burning furnace in it. I can't wait to be able to show people this. And I think people are going to come in and go, wow, because there's not another coach out there in the industry that looks anything like this. People are tired of the same old, same old. That's where we started down this path. Ask yourselves, how can we throw this out there and set us way apart from everybody else and come up with a game changer? I'm pretty excited and pretty confident it's going to be just that. Hey everybody, thanks for sticking with us. I'm glad that you didn't go anywhere. We're now standing in front of the Forza 38F and I have Nick with us and he's gonna tell us all about it. But where, do you, where would you like to start first? Well, I think what we'll do is we start off with our Forzas. There's a, a lot of things we'd like to talk about, both on some of the exterior features, some interior features, but we'll start with kind of some common features between all of our Forzas and then as we work inside, we'll talk about some, some unique characteristics of our 38F4 plan, which we've got over here. I like that. And I just want to keep in, or I want you guys to keep in mind to give us likes, give us love, and definitely give us questions. While we got these guys here, now is the best chance for you to get the answers directly, right? You know, no Absolutely. better time. No better time than you now. You got a question, we'll get an answer. Yeah. All right. So one thing we like to talk about, just jumping into the outside here, that uh, we've done new for this year, is we've heard uh, heard some concerns about wrangling the big electric hoses or electric cords. And these guys are 50 amps. That's right. Gets a little gets a little chilly. They kind of get stiff. So one thing that we've done recently is we actually have a drop down feature in the oh, floors now, so that you can run your ho or run your cord, do whatever you need to, and then just kind of let it hang out, and then you're able to to shut your door, and it'll. It'll go ahead be and shut. Before it was a hole that you were trying to run right. your cord yeah. all the way through and, and you're cold, cold and outside. And through and plugged up. So that's just a, a way to make it a little bit easier on, on getting hooked up, getting tore down. And we also have that same feature over here as well with our um, water compartments where we do some of our hookups. So you can see we've got the drop down for the, for the sewer hose and for your garden hose as well. So it's just trying to add in those little convenience features make it overall a little bit more of an enjoyable experience. Yeah. Easier is always better. Absolutely. <laughs> and I saw that you have a water filtration system, so yep, it's a whole yep. house water filtration Every system. Every coach has an onboard water filtration system, but just, you know, as you go to a lot of different campgrounds, it's, it's always a good idea just to protect the system before it comes in. So it's oh, yeah. one little one little feature we had to try to make it a little bit more enjoyable. Something I do whenever we get to a campground is turn the water on for a few seconds, and you'd be surprised how dark the water is yes. for just those few seconds and if you would forget that without a filtration system guess where all that dirt exactly, is going. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. Right. So it's a good place to catch it. While we're out here another thing I'd like to talk about is the Truma AquaGo system which is optional on all of our forces. This is a fantastic tankless water heater. The way this works is you've got instant hot water and it's done two ways. You've got both the tankless system so that okay. you can have water as you need it but then there's also a hot water loop that constantly recirculates throughout the coach. So you don't have to wait for hot water to reach your faucet or reach your shower when you want to go shower, want to wash your hands, want to do whatever. That water is right there. So it makes Which it that much easier to use, that much quicker, and? You're saving water. Absolutely. You're not waiting, Absolutely. yeah. Normally you turn the water on and it's running cold. 
And if you're not hooked up to a water supply, all that cold water is just being wasted right out of your fresh water tank. That's yep, awesome. Yep. That's a great system. And this is standard on the 38W, which is our two full bath model. Okay. I've tried that out. I've turned on the shower, hot water in one, taken a shower in the other one. It's kept up perfectly. Hot water Two for showers everyone. at the Absolutely. same time, yep. hot water in both of Endless them. And this hot water works out, <laughs> works out pretty slick. And then, as you guys already heard about with the, with the Horizon, is we do have the uh, exterior ground uh, ground effect lights. It's a little harder to see oh, out okay. here. Uh, pass through storage on the Forzas as well, much like there is on the Horizon. So you're able to put put uh, items all the way across. It's really try Very to nice. maximize our space as much as possible. So. Awesome. Those are kind of the, the exterior features that we want to highlight on the on the Forza. I know these year. windows look very clean yes, looking too. Yes. You don't have like a frame or what, what are these? Yep. What so are we these looking are, at? These are uh, mini frame windows. We call them or, or frameless. Either way, they're kind of a, a synonym of sorts. Okay. But uh, it really does clean up the look. You look at some coaches Sharp. and they've got you see the frame all the way around oh, yeah. them. This really just gives it a clean look. Kind of like helps it. the overall flow and ties in with the graphics quite a bit better. So it's makes uh, makes for a much more sleek appearance. They're, they're fantastic windows. We've been very happy with them. All right. You want to head inside? I think that sounds good after right. you. Thank you. This again looks very open. You have a lot of space, a lot of floor space, too. Absolutely. It looks sharp. Absolutely. We want to start up front? I think so. Because I'm impressed that you guys, you know, the Horizon impressed me that it had that dash, but you guys put it now in the Forza as well. Absolutely. We've got the, uh, it's the uh, Freightliner OptiView dash. So again, much like you saw on the Horizon, digital dash, it reduces the glare when you're going down the road. You know, we've had a lot of customers talk about it. it's, it's hard to see, you know, from yeah. the windshield reflection, see how fast you're going, see what's going on. Batlit, or backlit LCD, you're able to see everything that you need to and everything's right up there. We also do have our infotainment system as well, where you're able to control your radio. Uh, we have Three cameras also, you've got one on each mirror and one on the back, so you can switch between those views as you're Very going nice. down the road. Ten, that's a 10-inch screen also. Correct, right? yeah. correct, yep, Very so nice. it's, a, it's a great feature. Easy to read, easy to see. Easy to see, much like the uh, much like the dash as well, backlit, easy to easy to see, quick glance, and you've got everything you need. You guys got a workstation yep, here? Yep, flip-up workstation, it has a step cover as well that comes out. Is that a recliner? Absolutely. <laughs> so <laughs> your here. passenger driving? Yeah. They're, they're riding in style, there's no, about, no doubt about that. So they're taking very nice naps yep. while the driver is yep. going along their trip and getting a, you know well rested for when they arrive so they and get ready there to play. And they can or... set up and the driver takes a rest. Oh, that sounds good. I don't think that works. Out. Yeah, I don't think that well, works. But that sounds it's really good. I like right. I like where you're going with yep. it. <laughs> but uh, there's a, there's a lot of things we try to do on all of our all of our Forza Forza cabs. I mean, we've got storage right here for the passenger, but you've got a, a USB Power and a 12 volt yeah, outlet yeah. where nice. there as well. Uh, we've got some for the driver. We've got some in the middle. So just really trying to make sure you have everything you you need. We've seen a lot of customers that they'll have one 12 volt outlet and four splitters to get everything they need yeah, on yeah. there. So we're we're trying to catch That's it perfect. all. In, in one you can spot. never have too many outlets. No, nope, no, nope. you just can't. <laughs> we got to draw the line somewhere. I know. So we'll, we'll, <laughs> we'll do. We'll have a, have a good start anyway. Want to remind everybody to send these questions in while we have Nick right here with us. And Nick, you like answering questions too. Oh yeah. I, I know like I know you're yeah. ready for questions. Man, we can go three or four hours with this. We'll, we'll go all day. Okay. Happy, happy to chat. And I'm we're glad we're actually not going to do us. that, but <laughs> Nick's ready for it, That's just right. in case. That's right. So I see you got, it looks like maybe storage under here as well? Yep, we've got our, our dinette this that is... converts into, uh, into sleeping for okay. an individual as well, or a couple small kids if you and need. I... but. Big storage under and under I, each of the seats. And I think I saw an option for a drop-down bunk in this. Is that right? Yes. So all okay. of our Forzas do have an optional uh, overhead bunk that will drop down from a, uh, from above the passenger and driver. So if you do need that extended sleeping space, and you're going to have more people along. We've, we've okay. got uh, comfortable spots for everyone. But even without that, you've got the dinette. You've got the, the sofa, which pulls out. Then you've got the uh, the queen bed in the back, but it does have an optional king as well. So we we try to accommodate as many people as we can. That's a big deal. Yeah. Optional king. Hey, can I ask yes. a question? Sure. Can a person get the exterior undercarriage lighting system now on the Forza 36G? Yep, so it's standard, or it's on all the all the Forzas. What was the question? So the question was, <laughs> so the question was, the the, out the exterior lighting? Can we get that on the existing 36 Gs? Yep, yep. The the exterior lighting is on is on all of our Forzas. So that's really nice. It's yes, sharp it, it, uh, I really like that idea for the decorative 
idea, you know, for your Christmas time and mm -hmm. your, your holidays and things like and that. And we've got it on all four sides, so not just the patio side that you use. We do left side, right side, front and back. Nice. It's the nice. bee's knees, let me tell you. Okay. <laughs> and you have a very nice gal. You got a really nice refrigerator. <laughs> um, so, with her mask on the sure. Do you know what the max length is for the horizon? The horizon, the 42Q, sits at 43 feet and one inch. So that is the, the true length bumper to bumper on the horizon 42Q, which everyone saw with Ryan a little bit ago. But it does have that tight turning radius Absolutely. because of the wheels. So yep. even though you're, you're, you're in a big coach. 60 degree cut, 60 degree cut. You've got your, your tag axle for that better ride, but you're able to take the pressure off of it. But yeah, so okay. we'll, uh, we'll bring things back to the Forza while we're here. Yeah, sounds good. So I like this, that this is all flush. So this is increasing your countertop space that you can prep your food and get ready. You have a very nice convection oven here. Yep. This thing is sharp. Three burner stove. Absolutely. And because of the convection oven, you don't need your propane oven, and now you have additional More storage. storage. This, this floor plan, we really tried to put a lot of storage in. One thing we've heard a lot of is, is people really love having a pantry in their unit. So not only do we have one floor to ceiling pantry here, but we thought, why stop there? We've got a second one farther back, so. And these slide out. Absolutely. Easy to make. Easy access. Yeah. You don't have to reach back there, try to get into everything. It's bring the items to you. It works out Works out pretty slick. But the, the other big feature about this floor plan that's unique to the Forzas is this is our only bath and a half model. So we've got a couple smaller ones, which are mid baths. We've got the 38W, which is the two bath, which, which I referenced earlier. And then this is the, the bath and a half. So we have okay. the, the mid bath, half bath right here there's plenty of space if you have guests that come over you want to use it your friends visiting they have their space that they can go and use it and then we've got the the full uh, master bath in the back which also has two sinks which is unique to a, to a lot of so it's a dual a vanity so whenever i hear bath and a half i always think so if your guys are putting that in the water tank the fresh water has to be large what what are we talking fresh water tank capacity on the 38s you've got 100 gallons of fresh water that so is a lot <laughs> plenty of water for to, to last you a while we know there's a lot of people that like to do some dry camping and like to be kind of off the grid yeah, for a lot. little bit very so popular try to take care of them in that sense as well but so we, you got uh windows in the slides for that cross ventilation yes, back both here of the windows open try to add in some nice more conveniences board. kind of like we did up front you've got a, a little cubby over there for charging phones there's a usb charger towards the oh. top of it so you can put phones tablets there while and you're an actual place overnight. that they'll hold and you don't have to worry about absolutely. losing them <laughs> absolutely we've got outlets on either side of the bed which are tied to the inverter so there's a lot of uh, advantages to that as well speaking of inverter what size inverter are we 2000 2000 two, two, watts. 2000 watt yep. and then house batteries house batteries there we've got uh, four house batteries mm -hmm. with options for two more so plenty of plenty of battery capacity if needed so we're starting to run out of, of time a little bit so let's get into this All bathroom right. and show off these dual vanities have a glance take a look plenty of counter space plenty of storage, more storage. In, the, in the vanities or in the bathroom as well little nooks and crannies we try to try to utilize as much of the space available to really fit fit everything that everyone's going to bring along. I mean, this is a this is a great one for people that want to RV full time or if you're going to be out for an extended time. We we really try it's like to like a house on wheels. Absolutely. Try to build in those comforts. Two AC units? Two AC 15, units. 15,000 BTU. Piece, both absolutely. of them. Yep. Both of them. 15 15 BTU. So it's going to get cool even though we're large. Yes. You're going to get cool really fast. I think we even tested it out oh, earlier. Yeah. Where's the, where's because it was warm in here and we were like the, fired up the generator, yeah. turned on the AC and these things kicked out a lot of cold air and made us comfortable. We had to shut it down. It got too cold in here. So, yeah. it's... so we are wrapping up. We want to thank everybody for joining us. We just want to remind you, if you would like to see more specs or any other type of information, check out winnebagoind.com to find out everything there. We're not done for today. At 4 o'clock, I will return with Russ on the Travato and talk about the Pure 3 system. I'm really excited about that. I think this is a wonderful system. And then we, we're going even overtime, and we had another at 5 p.m. with John on the travel trailers again. So don't go anywhere today, and we'll catch you back later. <laughs> we'll catch you later. See you guys later. Thanks, Thanks a lot, coming. everybody. Thank you. We really appreciate it.